Protesters gathered outside ICE headquarters in Phoenix, Arizona on Wednesday in an attempt to block the deportation of a local woman who was ordered deported during an immigration check-in, sparking fears Donald Trump is preparing massive immigration sweeps at levels the United States hasn't seen in years. Even though President Obama deported record numbers of immigrants, he eventually deprioritized those who committed nonviolent offenses and were family members of citizens. Resisting any efforts to split families apart in our communities here in Arizona. And we want everybody in America to know and around the world that this kind of family separation, this kind of junk leadership is not going to stand. Trump's first executive order in office was to jumpstart deportations for all undocumented immigrants in the United States and to restart some of the most controversial programs used over the past years, including deputizing local law enforcement to assist with deportations. Guadalupe Garcia de Reyes, 36, had been detained after being convicted eight years ago of a nonviolent offense working in the United States without documentation. Garcia's been in the U.S. since she was 14. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! Protesters gathered outside a van outside ICE headquarters to block the vehicle from moving from the Phoenix office to another location as Garcia is deported. Her daughter spoke out. Um, no, I knew that we we're going to keep on fighting until she comes home with us. Um, that I love her so much and that um, she needs to stay strong and that I have faith that she's going to come out with us. After several hours, police in riot gear arrived on the scene and detained some of the protesters before the van pulled into the building away from the protest. Our reporter Oscar Leon spoke to family members and their attorney. Supervision check in, just actually done three or four times in the past. But because we're under President Trump's new executive orders, she's now a priority for deportation. She was taken into custody yesterday, and we received word just a few hours ago uh, that she was deported and is now in Nogales. So normally before, before under Obama, um, these kind of cases would have been um, uh, deportation or, or? No, she wasn't a priority for removal as she checked in before in the past. Uh, but now because Trump is in power, now she's being removed. Um, what do you expect because of the priority removals and changes? What do you expect to happen in the city? I think people are going to hide. People are going to be afraid. People aren't going to come present when they're told to present. It's the exact opposite of what you want to create in the community. Instead of creating safety, you're creating fear. It's BS to begin with, okay? Um, we all have the right to something. We're all humans, okay, regardless of our skin. Uh, we have the right to do whatever we think is right for our families. Working is not a crime. Okay. Um, where you work, where you went to study, how deep, how close were the communities, the brown community with the white community? How, because people from other places in Phoenix not really necessarily understand that, you know? Yeah. Tell us about I mean, it, we all work as a team. You start learning how different cultures work, and no matter what, there's no barriers. Okay? You, you get along when you're there to learn, and, you, and you're willing to learn something to help people out. That's what you're going to be doing. So there's no barriers on... I, see, I mean, I see different different races every day at work, okay? But it doesn't mean I do not provide help for them. I'm not I'm not going to take it out on them, okay? Uh, we're, like I said, we're all the same color from the inside, okay? We all have hearts. We're not all criminals yet. And that's the thing. They don't, they don't take that into perspective. Guadalupe's husband and children were surrounded by the press, who peppered them with questions. Her husband eventually said, they have not decided what to do, whether to stay and be separated or leave the country where they grew up and head to meet Guadalupe in a country they have nothing in common with, Mexico. Uh, 
Entonces, es mucho el daño porque no sabemos qué vamos a hacer. Si ellos van a seguir aquí en la educación, siendo que su mamá no sabemos todavía. Pero el mayor daño siempre es para los hijos, no solamente para uno, sino también los, los hijos. Y niños ciudadanos que no merecen. Exactamente, un, 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 un joven ciudadano que no sabe México. Ni yo conozco México. Que me trajeron cuando era, tenía 16 años. No conozco México. Ahora imagínate un niño que es de aquí, ciudadano. ¿Por qué va a tener que ir de su país? Y tu hija tiene el Your daughter is the age that she was when she came here, right? Yeah. My wife was uh, my daughter's age when she came here. Does she know Mexico? She does not. She goes there like, well, I know it's like what's going on, how life is over there. You know, I mean, if we go, like, it's the same thing. How, how are we going to survive as a family? Already in Mexico on Thursday, Guadalupe spoke to the press. Arpaio. Arpaio. Yo fui víctima de Arpaio. Y después este, yo seguí con el proceso todo bien. Me dieron permisos, estaba trabajando todo bien. Y en apenas en este chequeo que hubo, pues volvió a salir mi felonía que el arpaio me dio, que me hace criminal. ¿verdad? Para ellos yo soy criminal. Este, el simple hecho de que yo trabaje, para ellos es criminal. Y no se me hace justo. Over 100 people protested in Los Angeles on Thursday night, shutting down major highways after reports of ICE raids in that community. Stand up, fight back! Stand up, fight back! Stay tuned to TheRealNews.com for our ongoing coverage of this story.